What's up guys? Welcome back. We are out here again chasing muskies. I'm back with Steve. Steve was with us uh, last week actually and uh, we had his redemption muskie and now we're back trying to get him a giant. Uh, so we're here. We got here in the early hours of the morning before the sun was up and it's uh, full moon in two days. So we got all our lines in. Uh, we had nothing in our first minor and uh, now we're coming into our first major. It's like nine o'clock in the morning and uh, we're hoping that something's gonna happen here. Uh, I actually got some Cast and Conquer apparel, some hats, new sweaters, got a t-shirt on too, same as the sweater. Um, I'm gonna link that up. I'm gonna put them up on my website uh, for everybody if they wanna grab some. If not, you can message me on Facebook or Instagram at Cast and Conquer and uh, I'll be selling them through there as well. So, Also, more big news. <clears throat> If you haven't seen, I got the custom rod in St. Croix, put the tranks on there. Got green wrapping all the way up. This rod is like, there. it's not gonna break. Those, those old Laker rods that I had that I wasn't sure about uh, that I had bought, I uh, got one right here. Yeah, they, they this would have broke. But now that we got this new one, it's it's gonna it's gonna get it done so really gonna focus on jigging today got the aqua view in uh, we got 17 lines in with dead baits um, zone 8 in Quebec where I am only zone in all of probably the world that you can musky fish on the ice until March 31st um, got a lot of questions people saying that it's out of season fish but not here a lot of pictures that I am seeing are from Ontario other places accidental catches but here we are allowed to target them. So I just want to clarify that. And uh, I'm going to get back to jigging. Steve's outside checking some lines. Uh, we're waiting for those flags to pop. So uh, hopefully back to you guys soon with a big pre-full moon fish. I can't believe I wasn't paying attention. I can't believe they just happened to us. Talking. That was a nice one, dude. That was a huge one, dude. That was so. F oh my gosh! There he is. He just touched my camera. Oh my god, I'm freaking around. My heart. Oh my god, come on, then you're right, baby. A huge muskie just passed by us twice on the camera looking at the bait please come back come on come on baby that was it dude when you said it and i looked at the camera oh my god look at guys look right there boys oh my god he's huge he is huge my heart is racing right now Dude, he wants it though. Dude? Yeah, man. I wish I had a setup so. I'm shaking. He's, he's gonna eat it. I shouldn't have moved it there. I shouldn't have moved it there. Guys, we're about to get some sick footage right now. Oh my god, he might be gone now. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Dude? That was like close to 50, I think. Dude, that was huge. That first time when he came up, he was tasting it like he wanted it. Then, if I would have been like ready when he came on the screen, oh. I would have had him. Oh my god! I'm surprised I didn't see. I didn't. I didn't mark that. Shaking, dude. I'm shaking right now. Shaking. I can't believe I was dying, dude. I had everything on at the same time. Phone. I was ready for the. F oh my god, dude. That's so cool. That's so epic dude that's so epic that was huge crazy how like we saw a fish like almost minutes to the major my god dude 9 30 legit yeah. holy sh it was huge that was so cool yo there's musky we're catching one today man super that was a <laughs> super giant that, <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool on the new run that would have been so 
Like, come back. Just come back. It. Come back. Like, dude, he circled like four times. Dude, to come four back. times. The second, the the last time when he went off screen, he was coming into it, and I moved it just too high that he went under it. I think if I would have just kept it there, he just would have opened his mouth. Oh, I think. Why did you leave? Why? That was so f cool. And he man. went. He went. That way. That way. So. That way. Yeah. Exactly that way. came back we marked him on the vexilar guys and he came back you're like what is that on the vexilar boom beak just shows up on camera i hope he turns around again huge beak he's here boys he's hungry second time he came by man and that time he went this way well that was pretty unbelievable we uh jigging that tube red october tube and me and steve were just talking and i like looked up on the screen and like this giant was just there staring at it. So I got all the cameras on in time and uh, he went off screen and came back on screen like three or four times and that last time he was approaching the bait and you can see like if I would have just let it hang there I think he would have tried for it but I gave it a jig and he just drifted right under it and he's gone drifted off the screen but that would have been a perfect start for this rod it would have been such a good way to test it that that fish was like high 40 really girthy uh, probably a 30 pound class fish definitely but uh, that's a great start they are here and we're just about to come into a major we're like 15 minutes away now I just did the intro and uh, they're here we're, we're gonna get one today super giant I can feel it I'm, I'm really hoping for this here um, I actually had a pike last week jigging on the aqua view so uh, it's time time to land one uh, musky jigging on aqua view gonna get back to it Okay, so lift it up and pull some line off. Yeah, I'll take the disc, pull, pull, pull. Who's there? He's taking it. When he gets to your hand at the hole, you set him. Tighten that up and pull it, yeah. If he wants to go, you let him go too, yeah? He's hooked now. This is, a, this is a big one, I think. Yeah. This is a big one, dude. This is your, this is him. This is just giant, I'm telling you. Well, it's not a, it's not a super giant, oh. but it's a bigger one than last time. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Woo! Thirty-nine and a half. That a boy, Stevie. Thirty-nine incher, bro. Woo! Hell of a fish, man. Right in the major. Thank you, bro. We just saw that one come on camera twice and then this flag popped not even the same fish way to go that's a chunky monkey hell yes she should swim chunky back baby. pretty good all she's right. bleeding a little bit so all right baby thank you so much you should feel her kick off you can just hold her by the tail until she goes slip her head right in right, i feel her kicking already there she goes thank you Yes. Yes, bro. Amazing feeling. <laughs> Dude! Dude! And it's not even the same one.
There she goes. He's gonna go now. Okay. Wait, wait, just let him pull away. It's pulling away. Okay. Go? Yeah, yeah. Ah! Oh, not there, he's there. He's there. Line management, yeah. Let him pull. Sweet. Number, Number two, two, baby. Nice one, Steve. Hell yeah. A little smaller than the first one. Awesome colors, though. Nice and thick. Yeah. Watch Sweet. Let's get it musky, back. Musky. Same thing, grab by the tail. Yeah. He's got wicked patterns, that one, eh? Beauty. Like almost tiger, he's got like bars. <sighs> yeah, yeah, baby. Sick. Way to go, dude. Yeah. Well, we've had some action. We had that fish come in on camera and then it drifted off after like coming in three or four times and then it actually came back. Uh, I don't know if you could see very good with the GoPro on, but came back, uh, Steve had saw it on his flasher and then he's like, what's that? And just before I could even say musky, you could see the beak coming on the camera. He came and checked it out and then left and in the direction he went, we were checking for flags and it wasn't long and we had a flag pop. Steve got that really nice 39 inch uh, we didn't have much time that we were back in the tent and I was just saying like we still got an hour and a half or something left of the major and uh, guys screaming to us outside and we had another flag up and that was Steve's second fish uh, another good 38 inch girthy girthy fish and still not that giant fish that we saw on camera so we know there's at least another one in here for us and uh, we're hoping that he's gonna bite like I said we still got an hour and 15 minutes left to major and a big miner this afternoon, full moon period. It really pays to watch the moon, guys, and watch those good days with uh, low pressure and uh, make sure that you can get out when the fish are going to be biting. Makes a huge, huge, huge difference. Uh, I'll link the app down below that I use, and uh, uh, the Muskie 360 app as well uh, has uh, loon, uh, lunar tables on it, the, the moon charts. So both are great things that you can check out and uh, follow and you can plan your days so that uh, you can be on more active fish. We're going to get back to jigging, still trying really hard to get one here on the rod and uh, might still happen. We still got like five hours left so we're, we know no, there's going to be more flags for sure. But uh, Steve, he's, he's stoked. Awesome day, <laughs> two fish so far. <laughs> Woo! But th there's going to be a bigger one. Like I said, full moon. Prime conditions, a uh, little bit of snowstorm last night. We're, we're just gonna wait it out here and uh, hopefully have another flag pop shortly. That was him. That was him. He said, oh my God, I look bad <laughs> and I saw the meat. <laughs> Please. Dude, just come back, boy. You know you didn't just come by to swim to say hi. Again, just chilling there, right? Yeah. I thought he was going to eat it. He came in tasting again. I did, I did good. I did just did like I know, little I moves. That, I wasn't man. doing any jigs. I was sure. Just come back, Jack. 
I'm looking at my thing to see if I see a sign coming back to the side. <laughs> the baby came back! I'm shaking again. He's just swimming around, dude. It's just a matter of timing until he decides to eat something. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna come here and eat it. He knows that there's something here because he keeps coming back. There's a big f***ing taste of Medusa for your ass. He came back, man. And he went that way again. This this way, eh? Yeah. Towards our flags. Yeah. Big change, quick, quick. I got a little baby bulldog here. It does. It has yeah, maybe, such maybe, a sick action, maybe dude. Maybe he'll be like a lot easier to bite on. Let's go. That's no such a way. sick action. No way, came back, man. This is like morsel for him. Well, a little update. It is four o'clock. We went through that whole miner and we only saw that fish that came in just before the miner started. I think it was 15 minutes or so before the miner. Just drifted right onto the screen. I don't even think it was the same big fish that we had seen earlier. So we have about an hour left. Looks pretty promising knowing that we have two fish in the area, pretty big fish that haven't eaten anything yet. So we're hoping today might be the day. Um, but if it's not, we still had two great fish. And uh, like I said, still hoping for that last big bite. So we're gonna give it about another hour, do our pack up and uh, be back to you guys hopefully with another one. Feeling pulling? Just weed right now. I try to pull it slowly out of the weed. See if I can feel the weight of the fish. He just dropped it. He dropped it? No! Just got back home. Uh, thanks for checking out this week's video, guys. It was a pretty epic day. Uh, two days before the full moon, so pre full moon, and we had all our fish show up uh, within majors or minors. Uh, we had two nice fish, 39, 38 inch, uh, real nice girth on both fish. And we saw that same fish. I thought it was two different fish, but after reviewing it, uh, both the fish that we saw on camera uh, came in like four different times, had a wart on the front left pe pectoral fin. So definitely, definitely the same fish and a uh, pretty incredible day. Uh, lots of action all day. It almost happened on the rod multiple times, uh, but thanks for checking it out. Uh, don't forget, subscribe down below. Helps out the channel a bunch. Uh, I hope this is helping everybody out. Um, going to do a big switch in the next couple weeks. Get, uh, get out onto some big walleyes and uh, hopefully some crappies as well. So musky ain't done, but we got some other species coming to the channel shortly. Thanks again for checking it out. See you guys shortly.